Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Capricorn. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button, subscribing, I really do appreciate it, and it is super helpful to my channel. My solar eclipse reading sale is extended through Friday at midnight, so if you would like to book a personal reading, they all have 24-hour delivery, whether you have one question or love reading, finance reading, career reading, so feel free to check that out in the description box. All right. Let's go ahead and get a message for Capricorn. Okay, so we have a losing it all. So let's see what we have here for Capricorn. Okay, so someone here could be losing it all, whether that's money, fun, um, money, opportunities, something in their career. Let's see why that is. All right. So we have the Queen of Cups reverse. Okay. Okay, so this person is connected to a masculine energy showing up as the King of Swords reverse and the King of Pentacles reverse. Now, this could be any gender, but there is a feminine energy here that is emotionally uh, manipulative or emotionally immature here who is losing it all. And there's some type of cycle that's complete. This is like karmically meant to happen. Um, oh, wow. You may see this on the internet. Um, yeah, somebody, oh, okay. That is so crazy. The, what I'm getting, two pentacles reverse, I don't know. Somebody is just losing, losing everything. Why, why is that? Why is that? <clears throat> Seven of cups reverse. I feel like somebody is seeing through the illusion. Like, what do they say? When, when there's smoke, there's fire, right? Like, look at that. The Seven of Cups card. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Somebody was... There was some type of illusion, some um, feminine energy in your energy. Any gender. But um, there's something they were doing to confuse people or manipulate a situation um and that cycle's closed so however however why did that just happen however this person or situation uh or this person is tied to you i feel like now um i don't know now you just kind of have you're able to just sit and watch um this could be somebody that is dating someone that you were dating this could be a friend this could be a co-worker okay um two cups reverse you'll know who this person is because there's some type of significant relationship uh that has ended and departed um like somebody walked away from someone with the eight of cups being here um and i feel like this i don't want to say that's good news but like i said in the very beginning Something about this is very karmically meant to happen. Like, I don't know what this person was doing, but whatever it was, their time tied to, tied to them like manipulating situations is over, okay? Um, there's some type of friendship or relationship that you may hear uh, has ended. And again, I don't want to say it's good news because I'm just like, you know, I'm just pulling the cards and reading the, the messages, right? But what I'm seeing here is that this is something that you may have been waiting for and not more so a breakup or ending of a friendship or ending of a relationship, right? But more so ending of a cycle. Like, I feel like there's some ringleader kind of person um, who has been doing a lot of things behind the scenes. And it's like, there's a lot of confusion. Two of Pentacles reverse, um, Seven of Cups reverse. There's so much freaking confusion. And no one understands or, I don't know, maybe you've understood, but it seems like a lot of people may have not understood it was this feminine energy. Again, any gender 
Queen of Cups reverse behind everything. So that's how it will be, you know, not again, not good news, but you know, decent news that you've been waiting on. Like, get this person out of, you know, my energy kind of vibes. Uh, the Fool clarifying the Knight of Cups freedom, feeling like, um, you are able to just move forward from a person from a situation i feel like something has been very draining or dealing with this feminine energy has been very draining again this person could be connected to somebody that you work with or somebody that you used to be with or they could be closely working with somebody that you know but the seven of swords reverse um that whatever i feel like this person's been doing a lot of things again behind the scenes but of course it seems like for a lot of you guys you already know who this person is but um <clears throat> that's going to be seen this person is a major master freaking manipulator magician reverse the ace of swords so that's going to be seen um there could have been some type of like major like thing with these with this person with these people um of how they started being friends or how they started dating. Uh, that was like the higher font reverse, something very like corrupt or very like shocking. Six of Swords reverse and the chariot. Like, I don't know. It, it could have been that this person like moved on really fast or if this is like a company or something, it's like they hired someone on really fast. But for a lot of you, it's like relationships. However, it resonates um here there's something about the the beginning of a relationship and then now where it is now that is like everyone's going to see the seven of swords and reverse here also knight of pentacles reverse these people or this person again it's all stemming from this person this third party kind of energy queen of cups reverse but there could have been a lot of situations where like things in your life were delayed something you've been waiting for for a really long time is delayed money that's owed to you is delayed opportunities that are supposed to be i mean that are here for you because i don't i personally don't feel like you, anyone misses out on opportunities because i feel like there's always an opportunity right to manifest or to basically like step into what's meant for you is meant for you right there could be delays there could be people trying to hold you back or send you negative energy however if i feel like the dust settles and um again there's something about this person or their influence essentially uh causing a lot of delays um in your your life okay so uh, yeah this person is um losing it all this person could be getting um walked away from in a commitment and a relationship we have the king of swords energy here they could be dating this person or they could be closely connected to a king of swords energy this person as well is going through some type of tower moment and the tower moment could actually be them leaving this person behind or some type of major event going on between these two people <sighs> king of swords a tower and the five of swords um, I feel like there's like a big lack of trust between these people right now. They're both kind of like looking uh, like kind of over their shoulder, of course, but like they don't trust each other. And I feel like, let's see. I feel like you're just here, like very stable. Um, I feel like you don't trust these people, but you may have felt stuck in some type of situation. You may have been very disappointed with it. And also at the same time, still been planning to move forward. So what you don't see is April this month is going to be, especially by the end of this month, month which is what I've been picking up for you guys is going to be so freaking stable as some type of cycle ends. Okay. Queen of Pentacles here. So you're showing up as a queen or king of Pentacles, somebody who's very uh, stable. You bring a lot to the table. You're very abundant. You're great. Um, you're great with money. You're great with family matters. And again, I feel like you you're gonna have some type of finality to a um, a very toxic situation here. Okay. What is this King of Swords next steps towards Capricorn? Let's see judgment three of cups reverse seven of wands reverse and the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck wow look at that the emperor in reverse the death card and the four of wands so this masculine energy again um any gender they're actually going to be making a decision 
in your favor tied to a situation now three of cups reverse a third party here i don't know if this is a friend a lover whoever they are to this person um but i feel like there something about them is going to be involved in uh this decision making if that makes sense like there's some type of decision that's made and then there's some type of communication or involvement with the third party whether they work with them whether they have finances with them what however it resonates i don't know how how this person connects to this person which connects to you but whatever it is whether they work together have money together finances together or are in some type of situation um connected to you they're gonna be uh holding off like i'm hearing hold your horses seven of wands <laughs> reverse they're going to be holding off on something yeah because the magician is here and the knight of swords reverse is here and the three of swords reverse so i feel like they're going to be they're going to feel very um this person's going to be more so focused on a third party situation like figuring and figuring that out um before they're basically the energy that this person had for you is going to be shifted to a third party we have the emperor reverse and the death card i feel like this person also like i don't know if there's something about their role in your life or rolling your business or rolling your family or rolling your um you know relationship with them where they never really they've never really um showed up the way that they needed to the emperor reverse and that's going to be ending okay so i feel like if this is someone who wanted to make like make decisions that didn't go in your favor because just because i feel like they're just kind of going to be like fessing up to the fact that they don't want responsibility the fact that they don't really know what an emperor is or empress is they don't know they don't know like you know they don't know really what to do in this job. They don't really know what to do in this company. They don't know what to do in a family matter, but they wanted more responsibility than you. They wanted to stop you. They wanted to delay you. They wanted to make you lose it all so they look like the emperor or the empress, but who are they? Who are they? The emperor reverse and you're the queen or king of pentacles. So it's like, hopefully that makes sense how I just explained that because uh, that's what I'm getting with the emperor reverse death card. And also for ones, uh, I feel like especially if this person owes you something or there's something about um, a contract, a marriage, a home, a business, whatever the case is, a relationship, they're going to be, be bringing a lot of balance and um, I'm hearing purity to a situation, especially in, in one where they have not been doing this in the past, okay? so uh bottom of the deck is the nine of swords this person right now is like very anxious the ninth could have been very important to this person kind of like sitting in bed and overthinking and being stressed about what exactly they're going to do because again it seems like a lot of things with this person and third party are crumbling down but they're going to suck it up and make some type of major decision in order to move forward uh with you and this could happen within the next eight days okay so in the extended i'm going to be looking into the final outcome between this king of swords and queen of cups in reverse and i'm also going to be getting some more art of war advice okay on especially if you have some type of communications or dealings with this person in the future okay so feel free to join me there you'll have access to all the other extendants um let's go ahead and get some advice for capricorn but thank you for hitting the like button advice for capricorn all right so you guys have forgiveness so this is going to be a really good time to work on, you know, you can do what you want. This is free will. I just pick up what I get here, right? Um, and what I read in the cards. And so forgiveness, um, what do they say? Was this like, like playing in my head? Like forgiveness is not for them, it's for you. And um, I also read a lot of things where they're like, um, for people that have to forgive like their parents or people in their life, it's like, you don't have to, I read that, like, you don't have to tell someone, I forgive you. You could do that for yourself internally. So I feel like if there's a situation where like a lot of you guys are going to be feeling more at peace anyway, I feel like you're stepping more into your stability, more into your manifestations, more into your peace, more into your, you know, all these important earthly things about Capricorns. 
Um, however, I feel like there may be um, some type of communication with this person or situation with this person where you, if you don't feel at peace, if you feel kind of like triggered by the situation, um, it could be helpful to start to um, pour into yourself in this temperance energy here. Okay, so that's what I have here. Um, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to let me know your thoughts if this resonates with you. Um, and the extended, I'm going to be looking into the final outcome between these two people. And I'm also going to be getting some, you know, like strategic advice here. So feel free to join me in the Patreon. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys for hitting the like button, subscribing. My personal reading sale actually ends on Friday. So feel free to check that out and book a personal reading if you feel um, like you want to check that out. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching.